Okay, everybody, let's talk for just a second how we start this and get everything set up. It's really pretty easy to do. Um, there are a couple of things that are important for us to note here. So we're going to go in Photoshop. We're going to go to Create New. Everything is going to be done in Photoshop this week, which is exciting. And I'm just going to choose the print preset for letter. That's great. I want landscape orientation. And then we're going to adjust our resolution down to 150. And I'll explain what that is in just a moment. I'm going to hit Create. And I've got my awesome new document. And... Uh, some of these things that you see on this screen might be a little bit different from yours. Um, a couple of things is I like to expand my toolbar out. That's just kind of how I grew up with Photoshop, and so I do it that way. You can also see that under Workspace, I'm just set to Essentials. So sometimes my toolbars and everything get all crazy and in the wrong spots, and I just go to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials, or choose a different one. Um, this just pulls up different tools and things based on what you're trying to accomplish, so that's kind of cool. So I now have an 85 by 11 document, and I'm ready to put my background image in and uh, I'm just gonna go and open that image up and uh, oh my goodness which one is it I don't even know anymore I think it's this one actually there we go I don't know what's happening in life there we are and uh, I've got my selection tool and I'm just gonna click and drag hover and drop over here and the reason I've done that is so that I can make sure that resolutions are retained and I see the actual size of the image I'm gonna hit control minus on my keyboard to zoom out if I want to zoom in it's control plus and I can see my image there it's really big if I hit control T on a PC com command T on a Mac um, I can see now just how big it is and I'm just going to resize that so that it fits my screen. In my particular case, I want it to be that big, and so I'm going to put it that big. You can choose something different if you'd like. Um, so that gets it where we need that way. And now what the instructions say is to add a hue and saturation layer. And so we're going to come down here to the adjustment layers, and we're going to choose hue and saturation. We're going to and this is where we can go in and we can kind of change the color tones and do some really horrific things. Actually, that's kind of cool. Just depends. We can really do some awful things with this, though. So with great power comes great responsibility. Use it well. Um, I'm going to check colorize. And in this case, this is going to allow a specific tone to the project. And we're going to just move this over to a nice kind of a grayed out blue. And you can adjust how much color is in it or if there's not much, if it's lighter or darker um, in the colorizing. And uh, let's zoom in, control minus a couple of times, command minus on a Mac. Yeah, I think that looks about where I want it to be. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so nice and easy, and now I've got my background ready to go. Now, as we understand images, what we want to look at is I'm going to zoom in here really, really far. And as I zoom in, I'm at, wow, 100 yeah, 12,800%. Um, you can see all of these individual little blocks of color. And I'm just holding spacebar and clicking and dragging, and that lets me move around my screen when I'm zoomed in. Um, but you can see all these individual little blocks of color. And then I'm going to zoom back out, and you can see that when those, those blocks all come together, it creates the image. This is called pixels. Those individual little elements are called pixels. Um, and so the more pixels you have in an image, the better your resolution, the better your quality of image. If I don't have a whole lot of, of uh, pixels packed in there, then we get what's called a pixelated look, where you can see the individual squares of color and it doesn't look good. Um, so what we want to balance here is when you have tons and tons of pixels, yes, it increases your quality of image, but it also increases your file size. So we're trying to find a balance there in how much file size versus quality we're working with. Okay, so different levels of quality here. Um, if you're working for a screen and want it to, um, to show up nice on a screen, usually about 96 pixels per inch. So in one inch, we want 96 pixels packed into that inch. Um, that's gone up. It used to be 72, but our screen resolutions are getting better, and so 96 is kind of where we're at. If I want to just print it at my standard office printer here, uh, 150 pixels per inch is great. So when I send it off to Walmart to print my pictures of my kids, 150 pixels per inch works really well. And then if I want to print something professionally, like when I do for my clients, I send those off at 300 pixels per inch. So if you're wondering how many pixels per inch you have, go to Layer. Uh, no, sorry, image, image size, and I can see here I've got 11 inches by 8.5, and, and my resolution is 150 pixels per inch. So in one inch, I've got 150 little color squares um, that make up my image. So, All right, and now I'm ready to go and add all sorts of things and do amazing things with this project.